Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's video. It's JMA Friday with happy update from Japan uh, for the next month. The Japanese model has updated, so I'll have a look at the 500 millibar heights for uh, the month um, uh, today. It'll be taking us through April, so it's going to take us right away through the course of uh, the coming month or the month that we just started. Also, I've had an update from South Korea, so we'll have a look at uh, those charts as well. They are for monthly periods, and it takes out into May, would you believe, uh, taking us from the uh, middle of the uh, end of April to the middle of May. So I'll have a look at all the long range charts in a moment, a bit of a long range uh, update today. But before I get on with the video, I'm going to mention the advertising in this video ads on my pages at gasworthies.com. If you press play on the video ad, you'll be sporting gas with it. Gamsweathervids.com And thanks very much for doing that. Also, got the content tabs and there are links to articles. If you click through the link, you'll go to the advertised website. And when you do that, uh, you help to support Gamsweathervids.com. And thanks very much for doing that. Some very interesting articles uh, in there as well. I've had to browse through, but there are some very interesting articles. So do check them out. If there's anything you're interested in, just click through the links, go to the advertised website. And uh, you have to read the article there at the same time as well as gets a royalty fee on what you're doing. So two ways to get involved, the video app, content ads, uh, and thanks very much for doing that. So we've got the uh, 500 millibar height anomalies for the next month from the uh, JMA uh, model. Um, these are broken down into weekly periods. First thing you need to know, as I'm sure you do know by now, because I've been using these for a long while, is that the British Isles is just here, so we're upside down on these charts as you're looking at them. But it's fairly easy to work out what's going on. And for the coming week, which takes us from the week from the 2nd to the 9th of April, we've got an area of above average heights, uh, orange and yellow colours sitting to the south of the country. We've got below average heights up uh, to the north, so the jet stream has gone north uh, around that ridge. Um, yeah, I've got a, a nice uh, northerly tracking jet stream ridge of high pressure sitting over and to the south of the country. That's a very nice anomaly uh, for the first week of April. It's the week that we're currently in. It's mild, it's mainly dry, although perhaps turning a little bit more unsettled uh, later on uh, next week. But it's a pretty good anomaly to be starting April with a nice area of high pressure sitting just to the south of the country. Now the second weekly period is going to be taking us from the 9th to the 16th of April and look at this, it still goes on with that area of above average heights sitting over the British Isles, uh, the yellow colours there, not the intense orange colours that we've got through the first weekly period but still a nice ridge of high pressure basically dominating weather and still the idea that the jet stream is to the north uh, with those areas of low pressure uh, to the north of the country so still the jet stream is to the north, we're still on the warm side of the jet under an area of high pressure, again that's a very nice anomaly uh, for that uh, second week of April the 9th to the 16th of the month. Well, as we move through to the final two weeks period, which will take us from the 16th to the 30th of April, well, then things do normalise a little bit. So we find the above average heights going more to the south of the country, uh, back to the Azores, where they should be really ridging in towards Spain and Portugal. We're bringing this area below average heights uh, up to the northwest of the British Isles. The jet stream is coming back a little bit as well between those uh, two uh, areas of high pressure to the south and low pressure to the north. So that's a more typical sort of setup, more typical scenario, uh, probably turns a bit more unsettled in the second half of the month. It would be a washout by any means, and the main area of unsettled weather would be in the north of the northwest of the country, not too bad at all down to the south and the southeast, but it's a little bit more unsettled compared to the first half of the month, I think. And uh, with that, you would probably expect some bands of showery rain coming through at times, and it's a, <coughs> it's a little bit cooler as well, because we're bringing that jet stream back over the country so not the completely warm dry dishes that we have earlier on in the month a little bit more unsettled but that said uh, the south and the southeast would have a lot of dry weather with that ridge of high pressure close by just a bit more unsettled up to the north so on the face of it that's a very nice uh, looking april really from the jma model very nice update indeed so let's go on and have a look at the update from the south korean model now i think these are broken down Probably into 10 day periods, it's difficult to say. We've got late April, early uh, May, 
and uh, middle of May uh, with this. So presumably late April is broken down to something like the 20th uh, to the 30th of April. So we'll start off. Uh, we'll start off with uh, late April first of all. I've got this area of blue over the country for late April. So that's a trough of low pressure. Got a ridge of high pressure down uh, to the southwest. So that's relatively unsettled. It's not that far away from what we just seen with the JMA actually for the final two weeks of April. Perhaps a little bit more unsettled, but basically the jet stream is going something like that uh, across the country. So it's more unsettled up to the north. It's less unsettled down to the south and southeast. It's relatively mild because we're bringing up southwesterly winds, but the driest weather would definitely be in the south and the southeast, close to that area of high pressure to the south, uh, low pressure to the north. It's very typical sort of pattern, uh, really, uh, for what you expect in April. It's basically westerly winds, southwesterly winds, most unsettled up in the northwest, driest in the south and the southeast, and relatively mild. So very similar, really, that to what I was just looking at with the uh, JMA. Now, as we go through to early May, which I assume takes us from around the 1st to the 10th of May, uh, then we do start to see a bit of a change then, because the high pressure sets up out in the Atlantic. We're setting up a mid-Atlantic ridge. We've got a trough of low pressure up over Scandinavia and stretching down into Central Europe. The jet stream is uh, going something uh, like that. So we're more or less on the cool side of jet stream uh, there, with high pressure out to the west, low pressure up to the northeast. So we could get quite a bit of northerly, northwesterly influences with that for early May. It's a cooler sort of uh, scenario. Uh, wind direction would probably be something like that. So it's a little bit more unsettled, and it is cool, I think, that for early May. What we have to keep in mind though is that the South Korean model has been very regularly sort of coming up with the idea uh, that it's going to turn cooler. We're going to see some sort of blocking out to the west and the northwest of the country with a trough over to the east and the northeast of the country. It doesn't really seem to ever come off. It doesn't get any closer. Um, so a bit of a health warning with this, what it's going for for early May. But if it's right, uh, that would be a cooler uh, more unsettled sort of scenario, I think, for early May. And then go through to the middle of May, uh, which takes us, I assume, from around the 10th to the 20th of May. Uh, the high pressure still to the west of the country, although it's more centred to the southwest. Uh, still got that deep trough of low pressure away to the east and the northeast. The jet stream coming through, something like that. So we're still on the coolest side of the jet, but I think we're bringing in more of a westerly to northwesterly flow <coughs> with uh, that sort of scenario so it probably sees temperatures picking up a bit through the middle of May, it wouldn't be anything to write home about but picking up a bit and uh, yeah I think that's a little bit better for the middle of May it's probably drier, it's probably a little bit warmer although still nothing to uh, write home about really. and the most unsettled conditions would be to the east and the north east the driest, warmest weather would be to the west and the south west so, uh, on the face of it, we're in for a nice April, uh, and of course this confounds uh, my ideas that I've had for quite some time, which is that April would be uh, generally a cooler and more unsettled month. I think we're going to have a nice month, really, with April. I'm not seeing anything too bad at all coming up, and the update from the Japanese model in particular does look very good. Um, so, yeah, I think we're going to have a pretty decent April, and we're going to continue with a long run of above average temperatures, I think. We are going to see the temperature uh, anomaly coming out above average for April. As we get through to May, well it looks cooler and more unsettled on the face of it from the uh, Korean model, but as I say, these cooler and more unsettled conditions don't seem to be getting any closer that the Korean model keeps coming up with, uh, so a bit of a health warning on it, but at some point of course we have got to see this run of warm weather ending it's gone on since December being generally warmer than average it can't go on indefinitely so at some point we are going to get a cooler uh, month coming along it could be May maybe it won't be and it'll be further uh, away than we think so we're just going to have to keep an eye on it see what's uh, going on keep an eye on the Japanese model in particular because I do rate that model quite highly I have to say so if that starts to pick up on a cooler scenario uh, more unsettled scenario for May uh, then perhaps we can start running with that idea but just in isolation I don't think we can take the career model all that uh, seriously 
Talking of long range updates, I'll be doing a CFS six months look ahead on Sunday. Now that really is experimental and just for fun. Looking six months ahead uh, comes with a huge, huge health warning. So don't take it too seriously when I do it on Sunday. It's just for fun. But a lot of people do seem to enjoy these CFS six months look ahead. But it uh, really is in the realm of speculation. So I'll be doing that on Sunday. We get a forecast tomorrow, so come back for that. And uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.